Hello and welcome, my name is Hassan Magdi. I'm the leader and control member of La Casa de Minas team. We are from Helwan University and on the behalf of Robotics Student Organization. We are participating for the second time in Minesweeper competition because we found that it was a beneficial experiment and it also gave us a good knowledge and experience. So we aim to use them to compete this year and give a hand in this field and go towards a landmine free world. Our team is consisting of two parts, mechanical part and control part. My name is Mohammed Abdel Nasser, mechanical team member in La Casa Dominus team. Here I will talk about our mechanical design. Our mechanical design consists of three parts. First, robot body, which is made from aluminum. Second, wood to cover the body. Third, the control box. Our aluminum body consists of two floors. The first is for the batteries and the mine collection box. The second is for control box, which also consists of two floors. The, fil uh, the first one is for power converters, and the second is for uh, the components itself. The collector mechanism is simply consists of grabber arm which will be moved by a stable motor with high torque. In this part we are going to discuss our system and our controllers. To control the robot we are using AVR as our main microcontroller. AVR is used to control wireless motion of the robot and to get the data from the localization sensors. It also passes messages between the different modules and controllers, so that we are using robot operating system, ROS, where processing is taking place on nodes that may receive post and multiplex sensors, data, control, state, planning, actuators, and other messages. And we are using Raspberry Pi as the ROS host. So we get the data from the microcontrollers through USB ports available on Raspberry Pi. And now we will talk about one of the most aspects of Minesweeper robot, the detection part. So in this task we are using a pulse induction circuit as a metal detector. It can detect metallic underground mines with a range of 25 to 30 centimeter depth. And alongside this circuit, we using a proximity sensor to know if the mine was surface or underground.